So good morning, this is day 11 and we have just got to Epidabros which is looking superb I have to say on this sunny morning. Temperatures are around 25 degrees, probably a bit higher than that now and uh, we've uh, just arrived and we're going to have a look around. There we go. So this could seat 14,000 people and if I just pan from the left slowly, there's uh, on the lower tier 12 segments, 13 rows I think it was 38 people per row. So 12 segments and two tiers. So this is a, yeah, one of the best preserved amphitheaters in the ancient classical world. And Ellen and the kids are just walking to the top. We got here early. <clears throat> um, not that we needed, needed to because it's, it's relatively quiet this time of year <laughs> because of COVID. So, uh, so there we go. So this is the view from the top tier of Epidavros. Fantastic, and uh, I think it's definitely, it's a lot higher than it looks when you're at the ground level. I can now see why this place would seat 14,000 people. Are you gonna test it for me? Test what? The acoustics. Hi. Cool, but I mean, test it from, that's from down there. So Ben is just going to test the acoustics. I just show you. Watch my finger. Here is the circle that you stand, because this has the best acoustics in the whole amphitheater. So Ben's going to drop the coin. Yeah. Do it again. I think it needs a man's voice. I'll test it in a second, don't worry. So this is the spot where the, that you stand. You have the best acoustics. Hello? Wow. Can you hear me? So it's fantastic acoustics. And this place could seat 14,000 people. Hello? Pretty impressive, eh? Yeah. There we go. So we've had a, we've had a fabulous time here in Epidavros. Uh, really good. I think it was... Mm, I think it was better than Ephesus. The acoustics definitely are better than Ephesus. These are the best I've, I've been in. Ellen, say something, love. Clap your hands. The quality of mercy is not the same. It drops as the gentle rain from the heavens. Okay, so we just got to the this I believe this is the in, in the distance that little arch or what remains of it is the the temple of Asclepion uh, I don't know my classics, but I just read it on a signpost and apparently Asclepion was the Asclepion was the, uh, the the god of healing and that was his mountain up there and That's why they built this uh, healing facility in Epidavros um, so the rich people from Greece, ancient Greece, would come here, would stay up here and be treated in the hospice behind Ellen's head. And they would, I'm not sure what they'd do there, I haven't read it, but they, they would worship to Asclepion in the distance uh, at his altar. All right, so we're coming to an end of our little visit. And we're coming up to the, the temple of Artemis. What do you think, kids? Hot? Oh, good. 
Good. Yeah, the theatre was amazing, wasn't it? So this is not, it's not the best uh, preserved site that we've came to, but it's still it's worth it for the theatre. And there's some ancient Greek writing. Cool. So we're just going to walk over to the the temple and see see what's there. Okay, so that's it. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we're still learning, so any tips on how to improve our videos, let us know.